All right, guys, what's going on? So we're going to look at a couple of ICOs today. Uh, we're just going to do a quick overview. I'm not really going to go in depth. Just three ICOs that um, you should look out for. I've heard very good things about them. By all means, this is not financial advice, guys. Do your own research. Always make your own decisions based on your own information that you find. Okay, this is just an introduction. You guys can go and do more research about it if you want. Um, if you guys also want me to go more in depth about these specific tokens or other ones, just listen down below and I'll do what I can. So the total market cap right now is 431 billion. We got a Bitcoin dominance of 36.5%. Uh, the market is looking a lot better. So let's get into it. So the first one that's gaining a lot of hype that you guys should be aware of is called NAS, right? There isn't much information about it. The token still starts July to September. And there's somewhere, uh, just follow their Telegram, follow their Discord too, they said. You can have updates on the project and really follow it if you're interested in it. Uh, NAS is a virtual operating system for new transparent internet. It's powered by the Neo Smart Economy. So we'll go to the website very quickly. Pretty nice website. I like to use it frequently, ask questions section just to get a general understanding of the product. So NAS is a user-friendly desktop and mobile application. Think of NAS as an app store and web browser a virtual operating system with the ability to access new decentralized internet. On this new internet, apps work transparently and open. Your data is safe, and it only goes where you want it to go. Websites and apps host their content in a completely open and decentralized manner using Neo Smart Contracts, giving users complete insight about what happens with their data. Using multiple dApps, users never have to work with different tokens. End users only use Neo Utility Gas, and Neo automatically converts it to proper amount of any P5 tokens required for specific transaction or invocation. Can I already use it? So, yes, there's an MVP right now available on GitHub for developers who want to test it out. And like I mentioned before, the ICO is in Q3 2018. So check it out, follow the Discord. So this is part of the team, guys, they're not going to go in very deep. So this guy was a developer at City of Zion, founder of VDT Network, founder of Click DJ. We got a developer from the City of Zion, maintain Neo Wallet, developer from the City of Zion, creator of Neo Ruby, and some more contributors. Let's look at the roadmap quick. So testnet is coming in Q2. The ICO is coming in Q3. Also in Q3, NAS will launch Smart Economy Adoption Fund aims towards improving adoption development of dApps on NAS. Decentralized file system research on Q4. So the main night goes live in 2019. Check it out. So let's go to the next project. The next project is Solana. So I'm hearing a lot of hype about this one too, guys. This is another high performance blockchain. There's no information about that either. The ICO is around Q2 and between Q3, I believe. You have to just follow their social media or follow their Discord, ask their developers. Never ask anyone else what's going on with a project but the team just to prevent you from scams. So they're going to have up to 710k transactions per second on one gigabyte network without data partitioning. They're going to have a new mechanism called proof of history. It works by encoding time as data in the replicated state, allowing for simple and efficient proofs and protocols. The network is arranged for maximum throughput and high availability. Their smart contracts bytecode is based on the Berkeley package filter designed for fast execution. They will also be using a fast proof of replication, which is designed for storing a large distributed ledger. They'll have a consensus independent from transaction flow. Transactions flow through the network independent of consensus and are limited by the hardware. Okay, so this is their roadmap, guys. You can check out their GitHub follow along there let's actually see what's up so an update was made 20 hours ago on the white paper and, and the solana blockchain right now an update was made an hour ago so that's pretty good it shows you that they're working on it at least the uh blockchain right here they've been working on it recently so you can follow along follow their code and see what they're doing and the roadmap in november the idea came february white paper and initial test net so i think the test nets live right now okay in test net 2.0 and the public demo comes out in June, September, public beta, uh, Q4 2018 was the live mainnet, 2019 token distribution and partners. So it's a long ass roadmap, guys. They'll, at least they have the mainnet running before anything else. Hopefully they can get their tokens out early because the market always dumps at the beginning of the year. So I hope they know this and they don't mess this up. So it's a risk there if they're going to be releasing it around that time. They got to release it before. This is what I think. But it's a long roadmap too. Uh, just know about this project. Keep an eye on it, right? This isn't financial advice. 
So the last one I want to talk about is Quant Network. They have a new product called Overledger. So Overledger is the first blockchain operating system that facilitates the development of multi-chain applications. So this right here is their one pager. I'm going to read their problems. They're focusing on the limitations of the blockchain technology. So not since the internet itself has a technology shown such promise and elicited such experiment in blockchain technology. While the potential of blockchain technology might seem endless, there are certain limitations. One of the major limitations current single ledger technology that overledger will address is the lack of interoperability and single ledger dependence. In order to unlock the true potential of blockchain technology, we need to enable seamless communication across multiple blockchains as well as recognition of transactions across blockchains. Consider this. Why can't a smart contract executed on Ethereum be recognized by Hyperledger blockchain? Okay, so the solution, the first blockchain operating system to enable development of multi-chain applications is Overledger. Overledger has the ability to unlock and distribute value in applications across current and future blockchains. Overledger is an agnostic platform that connects the world's networks of blockchains and ensures you are not limited to any single a vendor technology. Overledger is the only platform that facilitates development of the decentralized multi-chain applications. So how does it do this? It connects the world's networks by a single API to multiple blockchains and a bridge existing networks to new blockchains. It enables interoperability by providing the ability to read and write blockchains without the third party interventions. It unlocks and transfers value between blockchains. And it delivers more value by facilitating the evolution of smart contracts to treaty contracts that are recognized across all blockchains, deliver cost saving by providing enterprise ability to manage blockchain fees. Overledger is not another blockchain. It's the overledger which sits on top of blockchains providing a meta gateway. That's pretty cool saying right there. Well written. So let's go to the website and see what's on there. So let's just look at their roadmap quick guys. 2016 was founded. April 2017, they started their research. October research completed. Okay, let's skip all that stuff. So March to April, the ICO. In Q2, open source SDK release V1. In Q3, Quant SAAS product release. In Q1 2019, Quant App Store. So guys, come check this out yourself. You know, these are promising projects that I think are going to be worth looking at in the future. By all means, guys, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. If you got other coins you want me to look at or you want me to look deeper in one of these projects, I can do that. You know, just write down below and I'll find time to get it done. This is K7 from Cryptopedia. We got more cryptocurrencies, more news and more reviews to come. I'm